Central in Green Bay, we are the church sent forth to bring hope, healing, mercy, and love to all God's people. Individuals and families continue to return to church every Sunday, yet there are those who for various reasons cannot be present in our parishes at this time. We are here for you. We invite you to pray with us from wherever you are. Good morning and welcome to the TV Sunday Mass. Today is the beautiful solemnity of the ascension of our Lord into heaven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us pause and call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us give glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Gladden us with holy joys, almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving, for the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation. And where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up. After giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen, he presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, it is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took them from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, Suddenly, two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus 
has been taken up from you into heaven will return to you in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call, what are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones, and what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe. In accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. 
And behold, I am sending the promise of my Father upon you. But stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, raised his hands and blessed them. As he blessed them, he parted from them and was taken up to heaven. They did him homage and then returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple praising God. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> My brothers and sisters, it is so good uh, to be with you again and to uh, be able to join you for the TV Sunday Mass. I thank Father Brian and Father John for taking my place for the last two weeks. Uh, as you know, I've been struggling with that illness that's going around. And uh, now I can say, and through experience, that I don't just sympathize with those who have health struggles. I now can better empathize. And I'm so grateful for your prayers. They've made such a difference for me. I can feel those prayers coming in. As I pray for you, and thank you so much, I'm grateful for your prayers too. Today is this wonderful feast of the solemnity, it's called of the Ascension. This is a marking point on the way to the Feast of Pentecost, which is coming next Sunday. Actually, Ascension used to be celebrated on Ascension Thursday. Most of you who are my age, a little bit older, a little bit younger, remember that it was always on a Thursday because that's 40 days after the resurrection or Easter Sunday. Then it's 10 more days until Pentecost, and that makes the 50 days between Easter Sunday and Pentecost Sunday, which is exactly what was predicted in the Old Testament. And with that very feast, Pentecost, that means 50. And so it was a harvest festival for the Jewish people to bring their first fruits of their land and their harvest to Jerusalem and on that day, which I'll describe more next week, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit happened in a beautiful way. Today, however, Jesus is assumed up into heaven. He's ascended into heaven, excuse me, and rose from the dead on the third day that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name. So he appeared to them many times to the disciples in his risen form. They experienced him. He cooked fish for them on the seashore. He appeared to them when they'd be praying in a group or sharing life together. They experienced the risen Lord, which was changing their lives, also causing a lot of discomfort and unease or ill at ease, not knowing what was next. But then ever since they had followed Jesus, they never knew quite what was next. They had to learn to trust. And my brothers and sisters, you and I need to learn to trust too. We were just talking in the sacristy before Mass today that, you know, life is a gift. None of us has a day coming. Every day, every day is precious. And the more we cultivate our relationship with God, the more we trust him that he's guiding our lives, that he has our very best in his heart and in his mind, and he just wants us to respond and say yes. And yes, we notice his absence from us, just the way the disciples did. That was a bittersweet moment when they had to say goodbye to him in his risen form and then trust him for the next step that they were asked to take. Brothers and sisters, never lose thanksgiving for the gift of life. Appreciate and love every day. Thank God for the gift and ask him, Lord, how do you want to use me today to serve you, to make you much better known and loved than you have been up to now. We love you, Lord. We thank you. And we look forward to the sending of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, let us pray the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, 
the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And now for the universal prayers. Rejoicing in the glory of Jesus, we now place our needs before the Father. For all members of the church, may the Holy Spirit inspire us as authentic living witnesses to Jesus and for an increase in vocations of the priesthood, religious and consecrated life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders and all who are in possessions of authority, positions of authority, may God empower them to speak the truth in love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, may they experience God's healing and peace through his grace and the loving care of others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all victims of violence, especially those in Uvalde, Texas, who mourn the loss of their children and loved ones, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the war in Ukraine, May God's peace and a spirit of reconciliation prevail. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we ask that you hear and answer these prayers we bring to you today through your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication to you, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all of his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. <clears throat> we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with me, your unworthy servant, and with all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace. I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let's take a moment of silence too, from this altar, from the Holy Eucharist, and from our hearts, to extend the gift of risen peace to a world that is in such grave need of it.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join in reciting the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, I know that you're just as concerned as I am about those families uh, left behind through that terrible assassination of their children. Our hearts are bleeding, aren't they, for these people? So let's not waste whatever suffering we have to bear because it's nothing compared to theirs right now. Let's pray for them. Let's pray for healing in their families and that somehow they may bring themselves to forgiveness and peace. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. May almighty God bless you and your families, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thanks for praying with us today. A special thanks goes to the Bergstrom Automotive family and to the Bishop's Appeal for supporting this broadcast. May God bless you. Remember, God loves you, the church loves you, and so do I.